22 Raptors and A-10 Warthogs of the United States Air Force are in Clark Air Base in Pampanga as part of Exercise Cope Thunder 2023-2, the second phase of the exercise. The United States Air Force took an important step on July 2 when the F-22 Raptor deployed to Clark Air Base, marking the second time the fifth-generation fighter has been deployed to the Philippines. Interestingly, the United States Air Force also brought several units of A-10 Warthogs, which we previously reported that the Philippine Air Force was interested in acquiring. This is the second time an F-22, or any other fifth-generation aircraft, has landed and operated outside of the Philippines, said Captain Carl Schroeder, a Raptor pilot assigned to the 525th Fighter Squadron, in an Air Force news release. This milestone with a regional ally helps provide stability and security in the Indo-Pacific. The exercise is from 02 to the 21st of July 2023 and will involve air combat exercises with Philippine Air Force FA-50PH Fighting Eagle LCAs. USAFC-130 transport planes will also participate with PAF transport aircraft in different exercises in Benito Ebuan Air Base in Mactan, Cebu. Several of our community members reported sightings of F-22s in central Luzon and yes, this is because of this exercise and deployment. The A-10 Warthog attack aircraft we strongly recommend makes sense to acquire and would not be too difficult to maintain with the service. And it makes sense to request the transfer of some units to the Philippine Air Force. Given that the Philippine Air Force had done some research on the possible acquisition of the type to replace the OV-10 Bronco a few years ago. In my personal view, the A-10 Warthog attack aircraft is very easy to obtain, considering the relationship and cooperation with the United States government are well established.